After years of hard work, it's time for a college graduation party to celebrate. You and your friend try your best to leave a good impression on your peers before you say goodbye. Will you ever see these people again? Do these people even mean anything to you? Do they even remember you? After some stumbling around, you have a drink in hopes of being able to squeeze into a conversation. After some time of zoning out from conversations that don't mean much to you at all, you find out how you didn't leave much of an impression with the other students. They tell you something traumatic has happened. You freak out and everything goes dark. The party room's gone from alive to dead in the blink of an eye. They think they're still alive, you hear. You come to realize you're dead, freaking out how you don't remember how all this came to be. You go to processing as you're told. You hear your names being called. You feel like you don't belong down here. You get questioned on who you are and get assigned your own personal demon. The team is pretty perky for someone who's supposed to make your insecurities surface. You learn you're going to be tortured based on your interrogation. And you wonder what you've done that's so bad to have brought you into the underworld. You are a good person, aren't you? You explore the dreaded underworld and land yourself in a bar. When ordering a drink, you learn that different liquids change your temperament in different ways. Maybe you need some courage in your glass to say what's truly on your mind, or maybe you need a drink to give you the charisma to add some charm to your dialogue. After some time passes, you learn that the Dark Lord can bring you back home to Earth. You must pass the Prince of Lies' tests without drinking him. Before you can actually see him in his frightening abode, you must get an invitation to his party. You must find and help out a demon to get their invitation. When you get your invite, your personal demon returns to judge you on your choices, speaking only to break down your self-esteem. You do your best not to take it personally. As you take your first steps into the Dark Lord's home, you hear the phone ring, and your personal demon returns to remind you of how you never really got the support you wanted when you were growing up. Your demon tries to bring out the worst in you. You let all your emotions out as you lash out at the demon. When you meet face to face with the Dark Prince himself, you try to bargain for your freedom. He sends you on a quest to get the approval of other fallen angels before being allowed to party with him. In your journey of meeting his monarchs, you're forced to make decisions that make you question your morality. Like is saving your soul worth the trade of sending an innocent person to eternal damnation? After you win the approval of the fallen angels, your personal demon pops back up time and time again. You're beaten down by being confronted on how the choices you've been making thus far may not have been for the best. Maybe you really do belong here in eternal damnation for how you may have erred in your judgment. Finally, when you return to the Prince of Lies' home to win back your freedom, you and your friend have been separated. Your personal demon comes to bring out your insecurities. Your shortcomings make you two lash out at each other. Your disagreements split you two up and you go deeper inside all by your lonesome. The prince tells you you need to form a team, a party, and you go to reconcile with your friend and make allies with the people you've met. When your team is ready to challenge the Dark Lord, things quickly turn on their head. Your allies give their plea to help the Dark One to open up. All this partying has been an emotional ruse to run away from his emotional neglect. You're stuck between trying to win back your freedom and deciding if you want to comfort the Dark Lord while doing so. He's tired of hearing everyone call out his name, so he takes you and your friend to someplace quiet. This is where you must earn your freedom in a drinking game. Unfortunately, the game ends somewhat haphazardly, regardless of which of the endings you get. Winning or losing, you and your friends make the best of returning to Earth or living in the underworld. While your journey concludes, the Dark Prince's side story of emotional sobriety comes to a close without much of a second glance. It just sort of gets thrown to the side for an ending. All the tiny buildup for an emotional climax gets put to the side. The party's over and the game leaves you kinda empty, almost like how you'd feel after a party. This has been Johnny and thanks for partying with me. Can't just go to bed. Party's over, assholes. Shut the door behind you.